Well, tired of looking at it. And back to the warm weather again. So it's supposed to be cool. They told me it was going to be cool. That's what the weather guys say. So I need to weld this piece on here. Need to get it done so you can put this move this thing it's been sitting here a year so it's been collecting all kinds of stuff and uh, you know what's coming next fall and all the leaves and yeah so I had to put the, move the tarp over here so I could weld someone in the shade of course now that Put it over here. The sun will be behind the trees now, and here in a minute. In a minute. So I need to clean some of the rust off this thing. I really don't have much to do it with. It's got a little wire wheel thing. I have uh, all my equipment that I used to have. Didn't have a lot. I did have a few things. Oh, the mail guy's here. That's the male lady. Yep. That one there goes through the cars like mad. Got a different car all the time. Seriously, a different car all the time. Well, I'm going to try this again with this welder. I'm telling you, it just ain't getting it for me. This 211, I think it's just set up for, I don't know what it's set up for, not me. Set up for me, and tell you that. Not set up for me. It's gonna take that back. Oh, it's gonna take that back. You're saying what back? It's gonna take that thing back right down there. Harbor Freight didn't do it. That's my 211. And uh, now I gotta get a wire wheel and try to wire wheel something or other. So when I get to, uh, when I finally get to try to weld this thing, but, uh, maybe you have a better chance working maybe? Think? I don't know. Who knows? I like that little bulldozer I picked up some time back. Remote control still sitting out there. I'm trying to see how much how how much it's gonna fade. Not really. Just if you haven't watched my videos. I got uh, too much stuff going and too many things going and nothing getting done. All right, I'm gonna clean this up and we'll get back at it. Well, same scenario. It's 
just globbing up. I can't get uh, can't get very wide weld. It wants to glob. It wants to just in the middle. You know, I know that I didn't do a very good job of cleaning. You know, I don't know. I don't know why about this welder. Mainly because everybody on YouTube said it was a good one, and they had no problems with it. It's the greatest thing since sliced bread, or something to the effect. And uh, I don't know. I should probably bring my Harbor Freight one up here and try that and see how it welds. It probably welds better than this. Let me go do that. It's just on the back. It's gasless anyway, so. Like I said, I welded that other stuff with that Harbor Freight, so. Let me try that. I'll bring it back. Seriously, I got my little piece of shit, <clears throat> piece of crap, uh, Chicago electric thing up here, and, uh, of course, you know, it welds. Look at it. It doesn't look that good, but look, it doesn't pile up like that crap. Look. You don't believe me? Here, I'll show you. doesn't pile up like that. Well, this just piles up on top. If you can see it, if you sunk the shot, it just piles up on top. This one doesn't look very good, but it's welding down in there, so, you know what I'm saying? So, that one, or that one? That one looks pretty, and it's expensive, and that one looks not pretty and cheap. 180, 1500, 180, 1500, and still don't weld. It doesn't seem to, it just piles up on top. If I take and grind that all off, if I grind all that crap off, it's going to do nothing. It just piles up on top. I can't even get it to widen. I want to get a wide weld that looks nice and form, form, whatever you want to look, uniform, and uh, can't get it. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that thing. It doesn't weld exhaust, which is really really uh, light on the light end and on a heavy end here it doesn't do nothing but I'm stuck with it and I make comments I make comments on Facebook's uh, Mitchell um, Miller website and they said oh what's your YouTube channel and I said oh, this is my YouTube channel and Oh, okay, and then I hear nothing back from them. So, so I looks pretty, don't work. Garbage, 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 garbage. Well, I'm back at it now, and I don't know if that welder. Giving that welder there will fill that gap there. 
I don't even know if that'll fill that. Cause, uh, yeah. Wow. Whew. Cause I didn't plan that too well, did I? I don't know why that gap's that much. It's the same size angle iron it is on the other side, so. Of course I don't have any clamps. That don't help, does it? No clamps yet. <laughs> They're gonna be uh I don't wanna buy in new stuff because the new stuff's junk. Big time junk. And I've been trying to find some in a yard sale and I didn't find any clamps yet. But um I think I'm gonna, I'm sure. Everybody seems to be all these yard sales are just going like mad right now, so Everybody's selling that stuff they don't use. Guess they need the money or something. Alright, well I'm going to try to get down in there and see if I can fill that gap with the 110 unit. Well, they're both 110s, but the uh, Harbor Freight thing. Hopefully I won't run out of wire because I... Well, I think I have another spool somewhere in the garage. Of course, I won't be able to find it when I want it. You know what I mean? Alright. I'm going to turn you off and get to work. Tomorrow it's supposed to be rain, so... I'm going to be rolling in the rain. Not me. Hey guys, we got an LA Alice. My son knows this one, too. G48 Wee G Everett. Cute little things though. These come up for sale very often. For a hitchhiker. Oh, what size? Looks like a two cylinder. Can't be much more. Yeah, two. I see it's two spark plugs. Two cylinder. <coughs> okay, I'll wander our way over to the Alice Chalmers area. exactly why they would have these things on here except for safety I guess huh yeah 